as I saw that thing. And we are here with Candace. And Candace, can you tell us about this uh, beautiful pink car behind me? Sure. It's a 1946 Fargo panel truck. I bought it when I was 15. It was my first vehicle. Uh, my dad and I fixed it up together over the next few years. And since then, we've had a lot of fun driving it. All right. And uh, clearly, in this big car show, it definitely stands out. Uh, have you been going to many car shows and getting lots of reactions throughout the years? Absolutely. So it's been done for about 10 years now, and it never fails to draw attention with the bright color. <laughs> uh, do you ever hand out any cotton candy with it? <laughs> no, it's false advertising. We used to hand out bubble gum, but, you know, the adult kids used to take a lot of it, so... And that's a, another thing, the kids must uh, love it every time they, they see it. Absolutely. The bright color draws everybody in, especially young kids. Mm -hmm. So uh, is that the main draw you bring it to different car shows or do you do other stuff with the uh, car? Mostly car shows and cruise nights, but sometimes Sundays to get ice cream. Oh yes. <laughs> and uh, drive by people in traffic with your uh, bright pink car. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much, Candice, for uh, joining us, and uh, we hope to see your pink car drive thank along you. the sunset. Thank you. <laughs>
It's our 10th annual Howick Car Show, and we're so glad that everybody's come out. I'm Dan Beeman from Classic Rock 94.5, and uh, I just can't believe the turnout of uh, vehicles and all the people that have just uh, come out to view these fine vehicles. This is a fantastic showing, and we appreciate everybody coming out here. We've got uh, a few prizes and stuff that we'll be giving away, and draws, 50-50 draw coming up. Uh, do we have the mayor here? Who's our mayor? I'm the Reeve. The Reeve. Okay. Come on up here. I'm, I, I'm, tell me who you are. Uh, I'm Doug Harding. I'm the Reeve of Howie Township. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Doug Hardy. Hardy. Harding. Harding. Doug Harding, the Reeve. Oh, you want me to talk now? Sure. <laughs> well, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Well, I see a real politician out here in the crowd now. I'll give her the mic. <laughs> I just like to welcome you all to Howick Township. Uh, we're really proud of this car show and its 10th anniversary. And we had a terrific crowd a month ago. The first two weren't as good, but the weather wasn't very good. And the weather played with us today a bit, and uh, we survived, and we really appreciate this turnout. And we welcome you all to Howick Township one of the smaller municipalities in Ontario. Thank you. All right, we are going to uh, get some uh, draws in our 50-50 uh, draw to be made. Is that me doing that? No, okay. Uh, so, uh, all right. Lisa. I don't know if you want to say a few words, but if you do, I'd appreciate that. And also, would you do our 50-50 draw for us as well? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Lisa Thompson. Thanks very much, Dan. It's a pleasure to be here this evening on your 10th anniversary. Congratulations. And I, I can't believe the variety of vehicles, bikes, minis that you have here. You know, being in a household that has a 67 convertible Pontiac that's not here tonight because of a year-end ball tournament, he would, my husband would have loved to have been here, but uh, I can tell you that the enthusiasm for classics is growing, and I want to thank everyone involved in the Howick Car Show, because you're giving people an opportunity to show off their handiwork, to show off their hobbies, to show off their passion for classics. In fact, I'm going to point somebody out. Uh, I'm not Paul, Karen. I was standing beside his car, and I said, I, it's his original car, and uh, I said, I remember this car. I called it brown, but I was corrected by Karen saying, I remember when you guys drove around in that car, silver car. And so I guess you're a classic now too, Paul Cook. Yeah, but it, that's the fun part. Every, every car here has a good story, whether it's their original vehicle or it's one that they've acquired because of what their parents drove or if it's just one because they wanted to put their hand in at restoring a vehicle. And Howick, you've given everyone here tonight an opportunity to showcase what they love. So congratulations on your 10th anniversary to the municipality of Howick. This is a great venue. Thank you for allowing the, the committee to host their show here. I know you do it on multiple weekends through the course of the year. And Dan, let's draw that ticket because that's what everybody waits for. It's gone. Do we have the 50-50 ready to go? Looks like they're bringing it over, or, yep, looks good. It's gonna be exciting, because of all the people here, that 50-50 must be huge. Do we know how much it's uh, worth? Okay, so around 300 something for the winner? Okay. We're digging in. So get your tickets out, put your glasses on. The winner is a blue ticket. <laughs> <laughs> it is blue. Yeah. <laughs> four, five, three, two, one, four, two. Four, five, three, two, one, four, two. If you are the owner of that ticket, you've just won half of our jackpot. And they will find you over at the tent over here where you registered. Oh, okay. Well, she just pulled me. You can't do that. Let me try 
All right. Okay. We're going to do some more draws. Okay. Okay, a case of oil from Chalmers Fuels. 453-1976. One, nine, nine, oh, a name on the back of this one. I'm not sure what you're going to win yet, but uh, Tom Quinn. Yeah, 2014, the uh, ticket is. Yep. <laughs> Just come around over here. All right. Four five three two zero one four is the uh, the one. It's got your name on it though, Tom. So. That's the one. Yeah. Thank you. That one's taken. This one is still out there. Okay. No. Yep. Yeah. Uh, four five three two zero one five. Looks like. Is that on yours as well? Two zero one five. Dig deeper. Did you win that one too? No? Okay. Oh, you got 2015. Beautiful. All right. No, that's done. How about some hats? Uh, 4532075. 4532075. Over here? Right on. It's so nice to be listened to. I. <laughs> okay. Chalmers Fuels hat. No. Four five three eighteen ninety one. Eighteen ninety one. That was a good year, wasn't it? Eighteen ninety one. <laughs> Oh, here comes the winner. All right. All the way from Clifford. Awesome. And good. All right. Four five three nineteen sixty. Nineteen sixty. There's got to be some nineteen sixty vehicles out there too. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Another hat from Chalmers Fuel. Four five three nineteen seventy four nineteen seventy four. Huh. Ah. Nineteen seventy four. Here she comes. That was a good year too. Yeah. I could see you coming from way back there with that, that top on. I'll take the ticket. Four five three twenty one ninety. Four five three two one nine zero. Four five three nineteen sixty four. The year of the Beatles. Nineteen sixty four. Yeah, you got her. Four five three twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty three, anybody? And while you're looking four five three two zero six seven twenty sixty seven. You knew you were gonna win, you're right there. <laughs> Good? Okay, that's fine. There's another winner here. Yep. Good.
Okay, no problem. Four five three twenty nineteen. It's this year, isn't it? Twenty nineteen. Who's got the lucky year? Right there. Yeah. <laughs> Four five three two zero zero seven two thousand seven. Oh, this is a new one. Yeah. And four five three two zero three eight two zero three eight. Four five three two one eight four two one eight four. Two one eight four. Looks like this gentleman's coming for it. I can't see it. <laughs> Need my glasses? <laughs> Okay, let's go for four five three two nine or sorry, two zero nine five, two zero nine five. Four five three two zero nine five. I think these tickets have big enough. Okay. Well we thank everybody for coming out. Stick around, we got some entertainment and stuff. And uh, plus we got a big show in September. Just keep your eyes open for that. Yeah, please come back out again before that snow flies, okay? So September is the time to come on back, but stick around, we got lots uh, more entertainment for you. I'm here with Brian, and Brian, we have a whole bunch of dune buggies up here, and can you just tell us what this is all about? Well, it all started off as kind of a contagious thing. I bought my first one in 1982 and drove it for a number of years, and then my brother bought one, fixed it up, started driving it, and then our nephews started building dune buggies, and, and it just went on from there until we got into neighbors and friends, and everybody started building and driving dune buggies. Do you have a name for this exclusive club? <laughs> well, we, nothing official, but we call ourselves the Listwell Buggers. The Listwell Buggers, I'd love to see that on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, have you, uh, how many years have you started going to car shows and do you go to multiple a year or? We go to three or four, this is our favorite. We're very close by, we're just out of Listwell. 
and we um, generally generally cruise to Tim Hortons mm -hmm. and uh, stop and talk to people and everybody has a story about a Volkswagen and how they used to tear around in the fields as kids and fix them up and then they tell us how to fix them and we listen intently. Yep. And uh, have you ever had a, uh, well in Tim Hortons you must all get into that drive through there and <laughs> be quite the spectacle in Listable but uh, when you drive around and you cruise do you uh, get many reactions as particularly out of kids or anything like that? Kids love them. They're always yanking on their parents' mm -hmm. arms and they're waving and and sometimes we stop and we'll let them sit in the dune buggy or sometimes the parents want to have a picture of them in the dune buggy and we say, yeah, yeah. go ahead, they're yeah. just fun vehicles and and it's, yeah. And I have to ask you because I'm curious, has any of these ever flipped over anything or yeah, or they've been in pretty good shape all these years? Uh, no, they've never flipped any, knock on wood. <laughs> Hopefully it never happens. Um, there, We had uh, one of the guys got ran into by a motorcycle and spun them around, did some damage, but nobody was hurt. That's good. When we build them, we build them in a fashion that uh, they're safe. Mm -hmm. And we put cages in them and roll bars mm -hmm. and stuff so that uh, nobody does get hurt because that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. We used to be traveling a lot on the beaches and stuff, but dune buggies were known for that. Is that done anymore? Nobody can drive on beaches anymore, right. anywhere. If I was to say we did, we could be chased down and, <laughs> and somebody could slap us in the fingers. Whiteman is not responsible for any uh, stories here. <laughs> um, now, uh, my final question is to you. Um, all your buddies over there that own these dune buggies made you do this interview. So um, if uh, the camera's fanning right at them, if you want to shout them out right now. <laughs> oh, okay, we got, uh, we got Robert. <laughs> Wave. <laughs> we got Dave. Jason, Dean, Ethan, oh. Darrell, who else? I think that's that's all the drivers tonight. All right, well, if you see any of those uh, buggers in Listable, you'll know where they're from. And uh, if we interview guys at the next car show, uh, it'll be one of their turns. Exactly. All right, thanks so much for joining me today.